Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. Oh, baby. I return to source all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in one of the pillars of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dis dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. And judgment is a, a final. All right, let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. We have a community here that's receiving some type of message that has them living in anxiety. Um, these people feel weighed down. They've hired someone to do something to a feminine energy. Um, they may have hired someone to uh, on a life of feminine energy or someone out there. Someone is having a hard time getting to you. Yep, this is an entire group, toxic group, karmic group. This is all because of money and to block someone's pathway. Uh, except this group is way down. They want to cause you a burden, but they're the ones that are burdening. These people have spent quite a lot of money to cause a lot of manipulation and block opportunities for you. Um, but they're the ones going through ending. There is something where a feminine energy, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, these people are watching you front and center. Um, if you live in an apartment, they've given, they've gotten in contact with the apartment or actually there's an organization that may have, what I'm being told is they've bought out some type of apartment complex or started some type of realty company um and they want to look legit as as legit as possible right so you could live in an apartment building that they've bought out and they've given a key to one of your neighbors this is someone that's working with these people to invade your privacy they may have in, uh given something to a gentleman who's trying to enter your apartment complex your apartment uh you know unit to do you something right um there's something where they're waiting to hear news that you have been on a live but it's not gonna happen because it's just not meant to happen that way this entire organization is going through a tower why because every day that you are still here every day that you're not giving two hits about what it is they're doing every day that the divine is protecting you they are losing money so there's a community waiting to hear that you have been taken out. They want you living in anxiety. Someone may be trying quite a lot to get into your apartment. So I would advise you to be uh, vigilant, be cautious because this person is very determined. They've been paid a lot of money to take you out. This is an entire family of liars. This is an entire family of karmics or toxic people. And all they care about is money. They don't care about anything but money. What they're trying to do is block some type of ace of pentacles offer from coming to you. So they're trying to take you out and weigh you down. Someone may be trying to even steal this, something you've invested in. They're trying to block as well. It's not going to happen. Who? Uh, yeah, it's not going to happen. And they know that you know as well, right? This is what they're planning for you. There's a high priestess in this community that may be sending you a lot of negative energies. And her uh, future is not looking bright either. Someone has been doing some type of business. I'm telling you, this company, this uh, family, this is your future. You don't effed up with the wrong one, barked up the wrong tree. This high priestess in this community, her future is over. She's losing everything. She's under judgment because all she cares about is money. Someone may have taken some type of repulsive action. I'm telling you, some type of repulsive action and it's led to a tower. And you won't be recovering. This entire family, there's a couple in here that's going through an ending as well. Their finances have been disru disrupted. This is a collaboration, okay? So whatever it is, the thing is about to happen, it's not happening. Someone's going to have to walk away. You may have a king of wands that may be wanting to give to you. So this could be like a really successful person in life, like a business owner or something. He may have paid someone to do you something and he's going through a tower because you're standing your ground. You are being protected. You will have wish fulfillment and they're unhappy about this, right? There's a lot of emotions going on behind the scenes, especially from a queen of wands that's work above and beyond to present herself in some type of light but this is nothing but an ending for her and they're all watching you the entire group the entire family carrying our rituals these are people that are into dark magic you need to go and seek counseling go within and come up with a different plan because whichever one you've chosen to take this person out is being exposed and 
this whole institution is out in the open. There's nothing you can do. The whole institution is burdened. There is a religious figure in an institution that is absolutely burdened, stuck way down, feeling way down, don't know how to move forward, wants to move forward. This could be the person that's been ordering hits on you, uh, paying people to cause blockages to your work, your forward movement, cause still miss and things like that. And you are aware someone may want to take some type of impulsive action and come towards you and cause you some type of illusion just so they can take you out. This is to block your healing, block you from healing, block things from going in your favor, uh, from a king of pentacles wanting to work with you, give with you and things like that. Everybody is burdened in this situation. Everybody's losing sleep. It's really ironic because they're the ones trying to cause you burdens and they're the ones that are way down. Meanwhile, you're pushing forward into the light. You are pushing forward on your path and you are content where you are. Your contentment, your fulfillment, you feeling fulfilled in life is causing a tower for these people. They need you and want you to be out of balance. They want you and need you taking impulsive actions and things like that. They want you feeling that, oh my gosh, I got to get away. These people are going to get me. They're going to analyze me. They're going to do this. You are safe where you are. Put some boats behind you your doors or something like that let the authority authorities know that you have someone trying to break into your apartment you live in a lockdown unit or whatever and the management for that company has given a key to someone so that they can come into your apartment and on a live you and this is to block you from receiving some type of offer some type of alliance with someone who is very fond of you and sees you as very genuine okay you still will be receiving your offer this chapter is over this group is having a hard time with accepting that so they are trying to force it um they're trying to drag something out but this entire community is going through an ending okay they are going through an ending especially a queen of swords in here and she keeps coming out but when she comes out i don't get anything positive i think this is just someone that's really mentally unstable very cunning cold-hearted very calculative maybe causing a lot of problems for an emperor this whole community is in uproar behind the scenes they're going through some type of stalemate waiting for someone to take some type of action come towards you and hinder things from going in your favor there could be a king of swords in here as well that as doing some type of manipulation in an uh, institution that all of these people are determined i'm telling you the truth is out they're determined to end you it, it started off with them sending a lot of energy towards you trying to manipulate your energy so they would have started off playing with your mental and things like that sending a lot of uh, mental conflict wanting you to be confused living in anxiety that didn't work some people were sending you beauty spells, all kind of disease spells, all kind of stuff. None of it worked. So then they started sending death spells because they started getting desperate. The death spells don't work either. So now they're, they've hired someone to come and take you out. It's supposed to make it look like it's some type of natural event, natural disaster that took place. He's going to come in. They said that what they told him is we want her to suffer. Okay, I heard someone say that we want her to suffer. So he may be coming in to literally suffocate you with his hands. Like they want you to suffer. They want this man to have his way with you and then take you out. But they want him to do it painfully because this is how broken, bitter, bruised, unhealed, spiteful, uh, just ugly these people are internally and externally. There's a queen of pen pentacles in here going through some type of ending. Her true character has been exposed. This is her. She's the one behind the scenes paying people to come in and do you something. She's the one orchestrating everything behind the scenes because this woman is extremely greedy. This is someone that's very determined to have what belongs to another person and it does not belong to her. You will not have it. I'm being told to tell you, you will not have it. This whole family may be fighting with this woman to put an end to something, but she's not wanting to let go. This could be someone wife and she's losing quite a lot and feels way down and stuck in this i'm sorry i don't think you all saw that let me do that again ma'am queen of pentacles she's losing quite a lot feels way down feeling stuck her finances are depleting by the second okay every stupid action you take is going to cost you money everything you are investing in is going to lead to nothing but lust i hope you know the truth okay and if you didn't know, now you know. And if you don't know, now you know, tricker. We're telling you the God's honest truth about yourself. 
Everything you invest in, ma'am, is not going anywhere. You're about to be out here being breadcrumbed. You've paid someone to come in and do someone something because you're desperate to hold on to something that does not belong to you. Your time is up, your old hag. This is the truth. Every illusion, people know about it. You've been trying to end a queen of cups and they're standing your ground, their ground, right? And this is them at the end, right? So you're going to have to find a way to move on. That's all I'm telling you. Move on, right? You keep investing, taking some type of repulsive action to what? Thinking about how you can do something to someone. And when you come up with a plan, what happens? A tower. And that's how it's going to keep going. You just keep on spending your money. Every time you do something, you're going to lose money. This energy you're trying to take out, and you're going to do nothing but flourish in life and keep improving. This is a master but by this point. I think when you all started coming out for someone, started stalking someone, right? They were very youthful. This was the energy they were in, right? Very youthful, had not experienced life yet. They didn't know you all were out here trying to take them out. But regardless of them being in that energy, they were still protected. And you all don't understand why someone is disprotected. And the whole time you're still trying to steal from them, but you're burdened. You want a star seed to be weighed down, but they're not weighed down. Someone is still out here walking with confidence, staying in a humble energy, right? They're still going to be receiving this offer. And this is what you all want to put an end to. You don't want them receiving it, but they will in divine timing. This offer will be given to them because this is something that's something that's divinely meant for them. You are trying to steal from this person is being watched. You all are being watched, monitored, and this is why you're burdened. Every day you're waking up expecting to hear that someone has passed away. They're no longer here. You keep telling people, I need you to get in there and get it done. Just get it done. They're not getting nothing done. Someone does not know that they're about to end up in jail, in prison, in the penitentiary, okay? Whatever you're planning, it's not going to work. You're trying to take someone out of the way so you can further some type of disgusting operation that you came up with. Everything is going to be exposed, and everything that's exposed is going to lead to your, a death for every single one of you, okay? So whatever it is you're doing, uh, you keep going for it. You keep going to do this ritual, manipulate a higher fin, a leader in a community. You keep going to do these rituals. They ain't fun to work, okay? At this point, you should know the rituals are not working because someone is protected from these dumb rituals you keep doing. Aren't you, aren't you feel dumb by now? But Queen of Pentacles, you're a narcissist still behind. It ain't going in your favor at all. I'm telling you, it ain't going in your favor. You may want to be practical. I'm sorry, your brain cells don't work well enough for you to even understand the word practicality. Your brain cells don't function properly anymore. Oh yeah, you're under judgment. You are under judgment, whoever you are working with. Under the whole community, the whole family is under judgment. And just know whoever you are coming after is protected. And that's why they are like this. Every time you see them, hear of them, and you don't understand why, because it's causing you a lot of distress that someone is calm and what, and you know, they know what you're trying to do to them. You're trying to steal someone's ace of pentacles offer. So you're trying to have them breadcrumbed out here. It ain't going to work. There's a king of pentacles in here too. That may be under some type of judgment or something has been revealed to him by the spirit realm. So this man is going within. He does not want to work with you all because he knows the truth about what you are really trying to do. Right. And he may be heartbroken because what he assisted you all before to take something from someone and what he does not want to be part of this nonsense anymore. You all are very crafty with your words, but this man knows exactly what it is you're trying to do. So he does not want to work with you. Someone may even know that he has some type of spiritual contract with the person you're trying to destroy. So he may be taking actions to balance something out. The ancestors are in here. Judgment has been made. All of you narcissists in this community, you're going through a whole lot of heartbreaks, heartbreaks, the whole community, you're going through it. Your abundance, your resources are being hindered, they're being depleted, and they will be until every last bit of it is gone. This kingdom, as you all call it, this operation, this system that you established a while back, honey, it is done, it's over with, okay? Okay. 
there's a queen of swords in here that may want to take some type of action drastic action to come in and do someone something all she's trying to do is cause more manipulation so she can hold on to something that belongs to another person this is someone's birthright that she's trying to hold on to this is someone I don't know someone's property, someone's money, someone's resources. She's trying to block. She does not want someone receiving something. But honey, whatever you're trying to steal, it is heavily protected. It's someone that's protecting whatever this is. It could be someone who's like a king of swords or whatever. You don't know them. Or there's something where you are trying to talk to a king of swords to cause some type of steal me and not give or allow someone to have their birthright. They will have it. I'm telling you, they will have it because this king of swords is going to make some type of decision to put an end to come, uh, working with you all, right? And whoever you're coming after will have wish fulfillment. I'm telling you, they will have their new beginning and be able to move on and manifest the reality that they want to want to or need to re, uh, manifest for themselves this is just pitiful pitiful you're all out here arguing right because you more than likely at this point know that there are legal issues coming out of this situation something has gone too far i don't know if it started off as a joke something really uh hysterical for you all it was it was like comedy for all of you, but now it has turned into something serious and you all don't realize, or now you realize that things are a little bit too serious. Some of you are about to end up in the penitentiary or losing everything. And that's why this queen of, queen of pentacles here is so desperate to have something go her way. And it's not, it's not because whoever you're coming after this person of high honor, you're trying to steal someone resources. They're standing their ground. You're not going to be able to have it. It's what I'm being told to tell you. You cannot have it. Your reign is over. <clears throat> I don't know if you all set someone up to get locked up for something that they had nothing to do with. That's going to be exposed as well. Or you're trying to set someone up so they can get locked up for something. It's going to be exposed. You will be found out. Everything you do will be found out. Everything you come, Every plan you come up with is a failure. Your life is a failure from here on forward. The whole community is cursed. And this is going to be nothing but you all arguing. This group came together to pay for more rituals. This is all they do. Pay for rituals. Because they don't have any type of spiritual gifts or spiritual clearance. Even the high priestess in their community is a dumb dumb. Don't know what she's doing. Don't know nothing about what she's doing. Someone has been able to get fancy with wars over the years. And that's how she's been successful in this community and working with these people they didn't know that she was not a genuine high priestess a true high priestess so she's intimidated by someone else i'm telling you this is a high priestess that does nothing but cause confusion very emotionally unbalanced unstable right so now she may want to come in and make it seem like she's advocating for you and why is she advocating for you because things are not going in her favor this woman is at some type of stalemate OK, she's not able to stop two people from coming together. She's not able to stop you from investing. So this is why she's coming, investing in what belongs to you, by the way. So she's wanting to come in to extend some type of friendship, make it look like she's wanting to advocate for you. She's not. This is a setup. This is a setup. She could be being sent by someone in this institution to come towards you. That is not your friend. This woman is burning at night just like everybody else. This woman is losing sleep because, well, you keep uh, waking up every day. They're going through some type of ending themselves. Like everybody that had a hand in this mess is going through some type of ending. And, honey, there's nothing they can do but stay calm just like you. But they don't know how to do that. Someone's going to have to go. I'm, I keep telling you all because this... Uh, the hermit keep coming out, keeps coming out. You need to go seek professional advice. Something is about to get really bad. I mean, bad, bad. And you all don't understand that it's about to get really bad quickly. Okay. And it's you're not getting bad for the person you think it is. It's for you all. Things are going to keep getting really bad. And then you're going to wake up one day. It's going to go from like 90 to 360 like the escalation is going to be ridiculous okay you will not be having wish fulfillment this is all of you right now in some type of uh, mental i don't know what this is like you feel trapped you have legal issues coming your way you've lost a lot of money you just don't know what the heck to do so you keep thinking like coming after someone 
that hasn't done anything to you is going to help solve the problem. No, 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 no. All the manipulations, everything you've been doing, every action you've taken is leading to nothing but conflict for you are. You're not able to come in and gaslight someone. You're not even able to gaslight an emperor energy anymore because he knows exactly what it is you all have been doing. You're bothered that this person wants to work with a feminine energy. You're bothered that he's going to be walking away to have success somewhere else. He could be taking action to advocate for a freaking queen of cups and is pissing someone off. He may want to communicate with this queen of cups and that's a communication that may be coming in quickly. And this is something that's divinely meant to be. There's a, I don't know what it is up with this king of swords that I keep picking up on. There is something where a king of swords may be going through some type of tower and that's because he worked with these people. I don't know if he was the first assassin they hired and things are not going their favor in his favor or this is someone that a queen of swords is trying to manipulate to get him to block someone's options, block someone's love life, block, block someone's resources and he's not having it. He, he may not want to be a part of it because some type of action he took in the past has led to some type of loss for him. Like, I think initially he was not able to pick up on these people's energy and understand how they were manipulating him or even that they were manipulating him. But someone, either this is a king of pentacles, king of swords energy in one, but he's picked up on it now. So a queen of swords is having a hard time manipulating him, being cunning with her words and things like that. So he, she's probably going to have to move on because this man does not want to work with these people, whoever this is, because he knows the truth. This is someone that's in some type of awareness, right? About these people, breadcrumbing people or offering people money to come in and do someone something. And because it's not working, things are not going in their favor. They are burning at night. Someone is absolutely sick within this community will be transitioning over to the next spirit, not the next spirit realm, to the spirit realm. Someone's time is up. These people could want you to, I don't know, go in and help someone. Uh, uh, maybe someone is passing away in this community and maybe they're asking for your services and people are in there telling them that you're not an expert. You can't help this person anyway if you wanted to. It's time for them to go. Okay, so you are not able to help whoever this is. It's time for them to go. There's a masculine in here. I don't know if you're being poisoned or something. Because I know I did a reading a day or so ago where it's like I, as soon as I sat down to do the reading, I immediately felt sick. Like I like it was it was it felt like I had eaten something that I was not supposed to eat. Like something was in my throat or something like that, but really all I had, had was water. Um when I sat down, and I felt sick immediately. So there's something where people are either putting something in your food or maybe I had that experience to warn you ahead of time that you should not eat from these people. They are poisoning you or they're going to try to poison you. If you're someone that has some type of allergy, like an EpiPen that you use and things like that, I would get multiple of those I'm telling you, this is the honest truth. These people are trying to unalive you, okay? You could be someone that's like a higher fan, very religious, or just you do, you do things in the upright, and you're someone very compassionate, very genuine, right? They are trying to take you out because you're not going along with their operations of doing things. You've decided to bring balance into something or whatever this is. I don't know who, what type of role you play in this community, but they are trying to take you out. So if you start getting sick all of a sudden, getting a lot of headaches, all kinds of stuff, because it's like something has been going on like consecutively. I wake up one day and I have like a weird headache, but it, it, it's like it's not really me having the headache. It's almost as though I'm experiencing something someone else is having. It's like a really intense headache, right? And then the next day I feel nauseous and I'm like, why the heck do I feel nauseous? Um, you know, I don't eat out of the norm. I eat kind of consistently. I mostly make my own food every now and then we order from out, but I don't know what it is. So I started putting two and two together. I'm like, there's someone going through something behind the scenes and the King of Cups kept coming up like someone that's a masculine you are being poisoned or someone is planning to do you something. So this could be like a full warning for you to be mindful of who you are eating from, who you're accepting uh, beverages and food from. Start making your own food. Or if you go out to eat, 
make sure that you are the one going to go and get your food. Do not let anyone touch your food. I don't care if you've known them for 10 years, 20 years, 40 years. Do not let them touch your food. Go out and get it yourself. Okay? Yeah, get it yourself. Okay, because there's no one around you that's very genuine. These people are working together to block some type of union from coming together, to block some type of meeting between two soulmates, right? You could have someone in here as well. They're trying to come and show up in the upright and make you feel like whoever you want to meet with, whoever you want to work with, it's not someone you should be working with like they, they are disingenuine or something like that. Someone is just trying to block two people from coming together. This is what a whole community is doing. With this freaking six of cups in here, they want you to have some type of horrible memory of someone. There's also an institution that feels trapped because they want to approach the person they're trying to unalive, but the person they're trying to unalive does not have any fond memories of them. So this person doesn't want anything to do with this institution. Whether this is a family, a, comp a company, whatever this is, Whoever they are trying to approach does not have any fond memories of them. So this person does not want to communicate with them. It's that one of them take action to come towards someone and they have their sword pulled out. And rightfully so. You're trying to unalive someone here. You've been planning someone's death, basically. This is a queen of cups. That's not a queen of cups. A queen of pentacles that uh, is orchestrating the ending of a queen of cups. That's probably why the queen of cups came out first. This is a queen of pentacles going through some type of ending that is orchestrating a queen of cups ending. Like she wants you out of here. Why? Because of greed. Because of money. She's used to being able to brag from people. They want this masculine to choose another feminine energy for whatever offer this is. But your victory is in show collective. Your ace of pentacles is protected. And this is why these people are fighting, right? And they're trying to possibly play on... It's like the leader of a community. They're trying to play with him, gaslight him or something like that. There could be like a higher fin in this community or a higher fin that they hired to, to do you something and it's not going accordingly. So I don't know what it is they're going to do, but it seems like they're going to keep trying to take you out, even though they know that you are aware of all the plots and plans they've been coming up with, the decisions they're making and things like that to take you out. King of Cups. I think there is some type of plot to take you out. You could be the one that's getting sick in this community. I feel like you are about to be, like, if you don't get out of this community, they're going to take you out. These, I don't think you realize how dangerous the people are that you are around. They're going to take you out. They may be causing a lot of illusions to make it seem like everything is okay. You all are fine and dandy. You know you can move on, get past the situation. They are trying to take you out. They are trying to take you out to prevent you from getting into this union with whoever you are meant to get into that union with. Run, 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 and I'm telling you, run, run, run as fast and as far away as you can. Because these people are thinking on how they can get their hands on you. You need to get away. Get away, get away, get away. Okay? Get away. They're trying to make sure that this union does not come into play because what? They stand to lose a lot of money. This queen of pentacles has invested a lot of money into blocking a feminine energy's future, her investments and things like that. She may even be blocking yours and you don't know it. But honey, this whole community, they're going through an ending. Uh, there's a king of pentacles in here that does not want to work with these people. He said, I don't want to work with you. This is a king of pentacles, but he also shows up in a king of swords in my readings. He does not want to work with these people. He's made some type of judgment to end his relationship with them because he knows something is not what they made it out to be. They've been lying. So he's standing his ground and deciding to walk away. This could be someone that's even leaving this community. And he's like, no, 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 no. Maybe they're trying to even convince him to come back and he does not have any fond memories of these people. May have lost a lot of money fooling around with these people. Some of money could be on hold by the spirit realm until he does right and fix something that he did. Uh, like fix a problem that he caused for someone else or something like that. I don't know what this is. I don't know if he assisted these people in stealing some type of property, some type of resource, some type of money. He's going to have to fix that. 
Until then, his money is going to be looking funny. Like the spirit realm is holding on to what belongs to him until he can fix something that he broke. Okay. Uh, let me do my um, other oracle card and then we can see what the advice is, what we need to be aware of. But there is absolutely someone in this community. I think it's the whole community, to be honest with you. The ones that are aware of this plot to take out an earth angel, which they won't be able to. They are all living in fear, have given some type of clearance or access to someone's apartment unit so that they can be taken out. And this person has tried multiple times when you're sleeping at night or they think you're sleeping at night. They come, unlock the door slowly and then try to let themselves in. But there's some type of boat behind the door, some type of latch behind the door that's preventing them from getting in. And this is something where this whole community, they've reached out to your family and friends to get them to hush up. All of them are in on it. Family, friends, foes, enemies, strangers. They've gathered a whole lot of people and paid them to shut their mouth. When they take you out and act like they don't know nothing about it, they can say, oh, you know, this person was sick. They were a, a drug addict or something like that. Uh, they were out here selling themselves. She, maybe, uh, uh, they want to say that you um, had a client that came over. And my, the whole time you've been abstinent for years and years and years. And you don't even go down like that. That's just something they're trying to set up to make it look like you're someone that's loose and reckless. Because this is what they told someone you were. But it turns out you're not any of those things. You're just someone that minds your business. You have someone in here that may have told an emperor that you are someone who's very loose sell yourself and things like that but in reality they are the one that does that there's a woman in a community that sells herself she sells herself voluntarily okay and she she's someone that's just unkept unkempt unkept whatever you want to call it and she's trying to make it seem like it's another person but they're trying to set you up so that you can be on a live i don't know if there's something here about some type of insurance money maybe a company took a took insurance money out on someone and now they've i don't know if they said that you are not here anymore whatever this is the death certificate maybe it was created or something like that it didn't go in the way there's something here about insurance policy some type of fraudulent insurance policy some type of property. I don't know what this is, but in the end, these people, they're going to be in this energy. This is their destination. There ain't no way around it, right? It, this whole community, there are no friendships. People could be falling, the friendships could be falling about, or this whole union collaboration is falling apart. No one wants to be part of this mess anymore. It went from a uh, this to this okay people are walking away people do not want to be part of this whatever this is that people are standing their ground that they don't want to be part of this community or this collaboration or whatever this is anymore let's go ahead and do our oracle card readings our angel numbers and things like that we have the number six meaning collective you get to seal onto karma waters your heart is your gift you are a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. Okay. 888. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. I am abundant. Okay. 33. You are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I am imaginative. Okay. 25, 7. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Lower curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. Okay, we have to ask out here, Lord Jesus. Who? Uh So you are being with the acts out here, you are being aware may you're being told to be alert. Um be what is the word that, word that I want to use? You are going to go through some type of separation. And this is something that is meant to happen so that a new chapter can begin in your life. Okay. 
This is something that's meant to happen so that something new can start in your life. Because there's a, there's a cycle that's going on right now that's very karmic and it has to come to an end so something new can begin. And so your patience is being asked for at this time by the universe. They're telling you to be patient, but they are working something out for your highest good. Something will work out in divine timing with this ax out here, but something has to be chopped off in order for something new to begin. Okay. And then we have the lamp. I heard it says a pleasing discovery will be made, right? So when this discovery is made, it's going to lead to some type of renewal or new beginning for you. Okay. We have, uh, they said fantasy land. Make sure everyone involved is being realistic and on the same page. No illusions. Okay. So maybe this is for the comics that think they're about to come in and on a live or star sea or something. You all may want to be more realistic than that, that you think the divine is going to put someone on the planet to help elevate their, the frequent frequency and vibration of a mass of people. And they're just going to let you all come in and on a live thing because of money. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. That, that makes a whole lot of sense. Divine flow, let go of attachment to the outcome and let the universe bring gifts open to receive, be open to receive and rely on the divine to work things out for you, which is kind of in alignment with this acts out here. Okay. So you may experience some type of separation of something or some type of uh, a split. I don't know what this is, but you are being advised to stay patient and that your angels, the universe is working it out for your highest good. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.